Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad to be done with that darkness area. Oh, now we get to do this trial. So as you can see, it's pitch black and there's something in the water. Of course, I did not see this the first time I went through here. But now I know it's there. The hidden enemy. It's the same thing as those rain guys. Okay, I want him to come like over here or something. There we go. Come over here. Because this next little ritual, it's too difficult. Too difficult to do with some invisible enemies. Microphone kind of fell over. Alright, so there's the harvest finger. Try to open that door while avoiding the white and blue guys. And of course, not all of this is walkable. And it doesn't help that the light doesn't go very far. And there's another enemy ahead. Another invisible one. So we're just going to take them for a walk. Back to the elevator. We're going to reunite him with his buddy. And you definitely want to drag him out. You can't just go straight to the elevator. Because sometimes he will glitch out. I know one time he glitched out. And he was like in a wall and I couldn't see him. And he ended up getting me. Then another time he just completely disappeared which was nice. Okay, you just need to chill out. Chill, chill, chill. Alright, y'all good? We just have to take this one slow. And don't walk off into the water. Good. This is the path. Come on, see me. See me. Okay, watch out for the white guys. Where, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, come on. And there's two more over there. Let's just go around.
Okay, perfect. Ooh, I was a little too close to the edge for comfort there. Okay. Watch his ass. Because he'll walk right up over here. Okay. I think I may have gone the wrong way. Perfect. Oh, I got it. Perfect. See, if you had those two invisible enemies chasing you, that would be so difficult. To take care of the blue guys and avoid the white ones. That's why it's best to drag their, the invisible ones out. Leave their asses behind. And then go deal with them. Now... I did see another gamer where they managed to actually jump across. You know, where they just did this with the long dash. They managed to get a spot where they were able to get up there. And I've tried that, but I could never get it to work. So, if you're having a hard time doing that whole run around, you can hopefully try to find a spot where you just jump up there mm. all right <laughs> I just heard a noise Huh. All right. So this one takes you directly into a ritual. I mean directly. And cloaks are chasing you. This was a bad trick. But there is a way you can cheese it. Well, damn. My trigger accidentally let go while I was holding it. Alright, so now that we got the four fingers, we can do it now. Yeah, the jump jump mechanic is a bit glitchy. That time it was actually my my remote because I felt the trigger slip under my finger. So I guess I just wasn't holding it tight enough. But still, that shouldn't have killed me. I was still plenty close. And jumping off here in the water doesn't do anything. It won't kill you, it just put, respawns you back up, up top. Chill, chill. Chill. Miss, steal your light. See, and this is why it's important not to use the light right here. I made that mistake the first time around, where I used up all this light to get back lives. 
Then when it came time to open the path. Well, that's alright. I wasted a little bit there, but oh well. But yeah, when it came time to open the path, I had no light here. So I had to go to the cold area, the Antarctic area I showed you in a previous video. And loop around that four times to get four harvest fingers. Alright, so you can't do anything down this hall. I've tried getting up there, you know, trying to find a spot, but I could not find one. So you gotta deactivate this door. Oh, and it gets rid of this one. I thought it would get rid of that one. Anyway, you go up here, and there are some rooms back here that you can go in, like you can jump down there, and it takes you through like a little bit of a maze, and that's one way to get to the sun area. It's called like the descent area, I think. It's like the descend, and that takes you to the sun area where you can get endless life. And you can replenish all your lives. But unfortunately, you have to unlock it Ooh. Um, on both sides. So I had to unlock it on this side. Then I've got to go down on the other side and unlock a door on that side. And then I can traverse that path. Which is something I should have done. Before I got my fourth harvest finger. After I got my third, that's what I should have done. Uh, but I didn't. <clears throat> this video game was developed while drinking infant's tears. Really? I like those, that he put those in there. Because most of the time they're actually helpful hints. And then every now and then that's thrown in there. And it just completely throws you for a loop. You're just like, wait, did I read that correctly? Alright. So, as soon as this elevator hits the ground, they are going to be on me. But there is a way to cheese it by using the long dash. There we go. Hey. Alright. So there's red and blue cloaks right there. Basically, when you come down through the elevator, uh, they activate, depending on which side of the elevator you're on. So if you're on one side, it activates the red. The other side, it activates the blue. And that is a pain in the butt to deal with these blue guys, these white guys. There's a ritual that has to be done. And to avoid those, no. So I actually discovered this little cheese of jumping off the elevator before it got to the bottom. That way I don't have to deal with the cloaks, not until the very end. So this is a 10. That's a 10. Wow. Okay, so I got a 4 on this side. A 
Wow. See how weird this RNG is? For those of you who don't know, it's random number generator. It's like the randomness in games, like the coding it uses. Sometimes these numbers are great, other times they're not. I don't understand why I'm having a little bit of good luck with these numbers, but then again, I had really bad luck with the blue guys in the darkness, so... Okay, four, four. And I remember these are swaps. So this one over here corresponds to this one, that one corresponds to that one. I do remember that because that was a bit of a pain in the butt to figure out. Okay, dude. Where are you going? I kind of need to go around that way, I think. Nope. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He is a pain in the butt to get around to. Okay, dude, where are you going? Get away from the bowl. Get away from the bowl. Please get away from the bowl. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you joking. You a camper. Oh, you a camper. Go away. I'll open up this little shortcut while I'm here. Oh, there you are. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that should have done it. No, I overdid it. I overdid it on both sides? How is that possible? Okay. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, one, one, two, three. I've already lost count. I've lost count. Wow, you went all the way up here too. Dude. Three. What is going on? I'm gonna have to rewatch this video. Because I don't understand why I'm off. I don't understand what is going on. I can't tell if it's a game or if I'm just being stupid and not doing something right. Okay. So that got rid of the barriers. 
Now there's a door right there and there's a switch back here. But I'm gonna have to activate the red cloak to do this. Let's go for a little walk. Let the red cloak get a little closer. All right, this one's tricky. Damn it, it clipped on the door. <laughs> See, that's the problem. If you don't do it just right, it clips on the door and you can't get through. Ooh, all my pretty light is gone. Let's bring the elevator back. Do you know how mess it, messed up it would be if one of those cloaks was on the elevator? Just, just food for thought. Why is it working? Oh. Used to not be that difficult. Alright, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Went the wrong way. Okay. Ooh, I made it in. Ooh, thank God. All right. Let's collect some of these. Cause I will need them. Ooh, that's a pretty lonely fountain. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. I'll leave the rest of it. Now we can open up a shortcut. So we don't got to do that again. See the red line? There they both are, just waiting. See? Now I just cut through that door and don't even have to do that whole time thing ever again. Now we're going to the Magma River. So there's the darkness, Crimson River. See, there was the darkness. And then this is the Crimson River. Will you look at that? So beautiful. Oh yeah, so beautiful. Okay. This magma lava flow. I want to get over here to save. See, it's so cool the cherry blossom trees. See, you can't get here because of the shields. There's three switches that you got to take down. One is over there, one is over there, and then one is way down there at the very end where you see those trees way off in the distance, right there. Okay. Oh, 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 I almost made a mistake. I did not see you there, buddy. These are extremely fast, um, and they explode. Okay. Ooh. See? Ooh, I mean, they haul butt to you, and then they explode. So you've got to do a quick jump and get out of there. Oh, come on. I saw you. I saw you. Okay. I need to get over there. Well, I can do this one first. I mean, I might as well. Since I'm over here. I need to try to figure out a way back. Mm. 
We need to go this way. Okay. Good so far. Need you to turn around and go back the other way, dude. That's exactly what I need you to do. That's good, that's good. Ooh, explodes into a ball of lightning. And you have very little time, too. Okay. And this lava area is just like water, too, so you gotta be careful. Don't let go thinking you're gonna be fine. I need him to go further down. Yes, thank you. Ooh, okay. And you gotta be able to get on this platforms when you do this. Because there is that ball of lightning. So if you're too close, like if I jumped here and then teleported right there to that edge, it probably would have still got to me. So you gotta kinda be careful. See, and he's just over there. There ain't nothing to get over there. Other than that light, and that is not important. You can have that, buddy. You can have that all to yourself. So this one, there's a white guy that comes out and walks around, so you gotta be really careful. Because he doesn't know what six feet means. Oh, fuck. Oh, goddamn. Shit. That has never happened before. Seriously. That has never happened before. I have never triggered that dude in my life. Never. I've never triggered him. Man, not once. And I've done that so many times. Going around and circling that thing. <clears throat> that, that is insane. See, didn't even at react that time. I guess he learned his lesson the first time. There's no way he's gonna get me, so why bother? Ooh. You have so very little time. I mean, it's one of those skills you gotta just do perfectly or you ain't gonna make it. Mm -hmm. 
I don't understand this. See what I mean? That guy goes all the way up. Just back and forth. You gotta be careful because he will come around this corner and get you. Like that? Like that? And my harvest fingers have glitched out. Ooh, okay, I'm safe. I don't know why that triggered him. I mean, I have never... Excuse me. Not once have I ever triggered him. Literally, not once. Yeah, for some reason this time it triggered him. I don't I don't know why. See, you need two harvest fingers because there's a barrier right here. Uh, I don't remember all these being here. But yeah, there's a barrier right here that prevents you from just leaping over this. So by unlocking that, you can now go down there. And you can use this center platform to jump into the maze. There's two spots you can do it at. I think it's the this one and this one. If you choose the left one, you will activate a cloak, and then you can have a red cloak chasing you through this maze. Or you can go to the right, but the problem is you can't jump back, and there's usually a bomb guy, a red guy, right there. So it just ends up uh, not working very well. It's best to go back and down. See, and that's where we were up there. Up at the top of that waterfall. There's the forgotten or... Forgotten fortress? I, I can't remember what the name is. It's the fortress area. See? I was not quick enough. I missed it when I aimed. But that's okay. It actually gets us back up to the top. So it's no problem. So now we've got two down, one to go. Now there is a cheese right here. Um, where if you jump down to this one right here, I think it's that one. You can actually clip up a little bit right here on this ledge um, to get up there and get the harvest finger. Um, I did not discover that one. It was actually a Jess for life. Uh, she's the one who I actually discovered that little trick. And I saw her do it. And I tried that on my own playthrough. But I could not get it to work.
But yeah, I tried and tried, could not get it to work. Somehow she managed to make it. Okay. I mean, I could try it here, but I want to go through this ritual. Because I've never been able to make that jump. Like she did. Other people might, but... but yeah. Okay. and if you jump off too quickly they don't explode like I got one of them but not the second oh I should have brought some light oh because I can actually s there's actually a little dog thing down this way that you can trigger and it'll take out most of these bomb guys. I just don't remember exactly how to get to it. Maybe I didn't even have to go this way, to be honest. Okay, got rid of two of them. Alright. I need you to go away, buddy. I need you to go away. Come on. Come on, see me. Why won't he see me? What are you doing, buddy? There. Oh my god, you finally turn around. Damn, dude, why won't y'all activate? Ooh, I barely made away from away from that. Yeah, usually walking is not the way to go. Damn. If I just kept walking, I probably would have made it. <laughs> the problem is I just don't... I don't really remember. The exact path how to get down there because this was another area I struggled with and I kept going back and forth back and forth right left right left trying to figure out how I should do it
And I can't get over there because I don't have... the light. Okay. All I need is two harvest fingers. That's all I really need. So one and a half. Let's try a different path, shall we? Yeah, I can't get over there. I gotta come back up through the maze. I don't think I can do it from here. Nope. Well, damn. How do I trigger this dog? Can I cheese it a little bit? No. Well, that sucks. Let's go this way. Because I don't feel like doing that. Okay. Now that I've got this open, I can come down here. And we're just going to take the risk. That's all we can do at this point. Yeah, I should have turned around. Five lives. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave this Crimson River. And I'm gonna go get some more lives.
because I'm starting to get a little low. And it's starting to worry me. Grab you while we're at it. We will grab this. Get some of you. Some of you. Make sure there's no holes to fall into. I'm going to get three lives. Okay. Let's look around for some more right here. Should be able to sneak past you. Don't don't mind me. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Oh, I forgot about the blue guys are back. Let's deal with y'all. There we go. Strong buddy, go for a walk. Why won't you go? Okay. Ooh, where are you going? That's where I need to go. I'm not going to take that, all that. I'll leave that one. Now where, where'd you go, buddy? Just squeeze past the blue cloak. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Okay, when I get back down to five lives, uh, I'm gonna head towards the sun. Okay. Let's go back this left hand side. Thank you while we're at it. Okay, you're still lit. I need to have two harvest fingers with me at all times. That way I can unlock the shortcuts. Alright, where are you going? Not far enough. You know it's funny how their feet look? It looks almost like they're wearing boots. Like some kind of high heel boots. I could have swore he was ahead of me, not behind me. Damn. See, if you can turn away, complete 180 and just start walking, you can get away. But if you delay even a little bit, and I wasn't sure where he was coming from or where I should go. to take a little bit of a break just a quick two minute break <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time and if it doesn't work then I'm gonna give it up for today I will pick up the rest tomorrow that's the last stuff I gotta get done. Including making dinner. And I actually plan on making nachos. So I need to get the ground beef and all that done and everything made. I've not had nachos in such a long time. And I'm not talking like with nacho cheese, they're like where you talking about where you put them in the oven. 
for some shredded cheese. I do a little beans, refried beans, some ground beef, some pico de gallo, and shredded cheese. I just need to get over here. Fantastic. Oh, perfect. Perfect. God damn it. Oh. oh, I forgot about that jump scare. Holy crap. Yeah, that's that dog I'm ta I was talking about. It somehow triggers when you, you're over here. I completely forgot how loud that was. Shit. So... What Perfect. I have to try to lure them out. Because there's a lot of them in here. Two. Two. Come on. Perfect. Ooh, okay. We can open the shortcut. Alright. Now we can come down straight through here. Without having to go through this mess. Over here. And it makes it so much easier because at least when you jump into the maze here, you can turn around and jump back out. We have made progress. Okay. I mean, we've cleared them out based on this side of the maze, so we are, we are good. Just watch out for this douchebag. Ooh. The white guy almost hit me. He almost hit me. Coming around that corner. Okay. Shit, it's a dead end. Uh, 
Okay. Try to fit Perfect. There's one over there. He's coming right towards me, too. Just back up and try to trigger him. Oh, he turned around. Okay. That's good. Let's walk backwards. Do we trigger him? He's got his back turned to me. Okay, one more. We are good. Come on. See me? See me, please? We are good. Oh, we are good. And I think this is really cool how it's just way, way the hell out here. I thought that was really cool to have a maze and then the open area and way out here on the very tip. And it's so cool how the water flows down over the edge in this grand waterfall and then turns into lava down at the very bottom and turns into a, a lava river or, or a lava ocean that's what I was trying to say now probably the quickest way would be to just run off of the lava and die and reset and you'll respawn up there. But it also depends on how many lives you have left. You know, I have less than half. So I kind of want to conserve them a little bit. Plus it gives me a chance to go through and collect light as I see it. I saw some light over there, but I don't want to get that because that's the other side of the map. And I'm sure there's some bomb guys still over there. I've just pretty much cleared out this side of the map, so I know for the most part I'm good over here. Okay, perfect. bit of a long jump too. Come on. Some of these things are difficult. Perfect, perfect. Okay. 
Okay, not want me to do that. About now. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, uh, this perfect. Let me grab a little screenshot real quick. Fantastic. Now we've got five. So now you notice there's another harvest finger because it was going from index to middle to ring to pinky. Now it's on the thumb. So now we got five. So now we will go to the sun area, get that unlocked, recharge and fill all of our lives. And then we can go to the stair stairway to get to heaven. So, all right, I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.